I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take some else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen, fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. What's good, I'm Sheltron, but you can call me Coach, and I'm back out again with a brand new video. And I'ma keep it a bow, Berry Biscuit. The Panthers took a really big risk, and it paid off for them. Earlier this week, I think it was actually just yesterday, the team cut Elijah Holyfield after he made their preliminary 53-man roster and they had to go into waivers. We picked up two receivers and a safety and unfortunately, Elijah Holyfield was one of the guys that we ended up cutting. But after waivers had cleared and everything, no other team made a move to claim Elijah Holyfield. So he is back on the Panthers. He signed again. He's on the practice squad, not with the actual 53-man active roster, but it is a really good sign that Elijah Holyfield is back because I think he is one of the fan favorites. And although he didn't beat out Jordan Scarlett or Reggie Bonifant, we had a pretty stacked uh, running back group there. And it would have been really hard for us to actually keep four running backs. But it's all good. Elijah is back on the practice squad. So including Elijah, there's our safety, Quinn Blanding, Rashard Cook, who's a guard, Brian Cox Jr., who is a defensive end, who is in the last year of his contract. This is not going to be a good one. It's tough to say. Tight end to Merrick Hemingway, who I thought was kind of my favorite guy uh, who didn't make the squad this year because he's a really big tight end. And we may have need for him coming up because I'm not really so sure about the the health of our tight ends this year. But moving on, we have the defensive tackle, B. John Jackson. We have Cole Luke, who's a DB. I think he plays both safety and and corner, but I think he might play more safety. We have our linebacker, Sionte Ohama, and wide receiver, DeAndrew White. This is a guy who became kind of a fan favorite near the back half of the preseason because he made a couple plays that were actually pretty impressive. So that wraps up our practice squad, but I want to go ahead and go through the 53-man roster as it stands right now, what we will most likely, basically for sure, be seeing on the 8th when we go against the Rams. Quarterbacks, Cam, Kyle Allen, and Will Greer, Right here off top, I want to say I was actually wrong about what I said about Kyle Allen. Apparently, apparently, Coach Rivera or someone, one of the coaches said that they're looking to develop both Kyle Allen and Will Greer. I think in one of my videos, I talked about how if you have two quarterbacks who are on the last year of their deal, you're not really looking to look at guys ceiling or whatever. You want to have your backup be the best guy available for the job right then. Whoever's the best on your team right now deserves to be the backup. Well, apparently we're looking at keeping Kyle Allen for the next several years, if that's what he means by developing Kyle Allen. So that's something I really want to look forward to and actually keep an eye on, not just for right now, but at the end of the season, I want to see what exactly we're looking at from Kyle Allen because it seems a little bit interesting that we're looking at developing Kyle Allen as a guy who's 23, 24 already, and our third round pick quarterback is also being developed. Some teams who carry three quarterbacks would have their starter guy, their franchise guy, a guy who's already proven he's the best at playing the backup, and then a guy who needs development to learn under those two guys. Here we have a franchise guy and two developmental guys. So we'll see how that works out for us. Running backs, we have Chris McCaffrey. Really, man, you don't know, you know who CMC is. Then Jordan Scarlett, our fifth round pick. Reggie Bonifant, who really proved himself this preseason. I don't think he had an actual spot on this team. I don't think he was even close to being one of the favorites to have a spot on this team until he really showed out this preseason. So, hey, that's really cool. And then Alex Armo, who's a fullback slash, you know, he could be a tight end. He could do whatever he needs to be, honestly. Wide receivers. Now, I find this kind of interesting, but it doesn't really, really matter. But on the Panthers' site, on the actual 53-man roster breakdown, and every category is listed in order, like guys who are the starter, then backup, backup, like in the list of the actual depth chart. Wide receivers, Curtis Samuel is listed before DJ Moore. I won't get any more into that. Then there's Darius Wright, Chris Hogan, Ray Ray, and Brandon Zelstra, the two guys that we just picked up off waivers. So looking pretty good, honestly. I, I don't really know all that much about Ray Ray and Brandon Zilstra. Keep it real with you, their actual stats in the seasons don't look all that great, but they've done some pretty good work in the preseason. So I don't really, eh, well, we'll see what we get. I don't really know how many targets they'll be seeing a game. Maybe like one or two, maybe three on average, but I would not expect to see very many targets coming their way. Looking at our tight ends, we have three. We have Greg Olson. Ian Thomas, uh, we actually, oh, I was wrong. We actually technically have four. We have Chris Manhurts when he's blocking, but we have Chris Martinez when he's pass catching. This man, he, he, he's mainly a guy you're going to see blocking out there, but when, he, when his number's called to go on a route, his man changes. 
this man changed. So we're kind of circumventing the whole 53 man roster thing here with Chris Manhurts, but he, you might see him go out for a couple routes this year. You probably won't see a lot, but when he goes out for a route, the man transforms. So we might be seeing something out of him. Offensive line, we're keeping nine guys. Matt Paradis, Trey Turner, Greg Van Roten, Taylor Moten, Daryl Williams, Greg Little, Dennis Daly, who's our sixth round pick. Greg Little actually was in concussion protocol. So I'm not 100% sure just where he stands right now. I haven't read anything about his condition right now, but we'll see what his health is moving forward. We also have Tyler Larson and Brandon Green, a guy who came out of the AAF. So we're looking pretty good. Nine offensive linemen. I think we're pretty straight there. Now on to our defense, the D-line right here. We got k Short. You know who KK is. You know who k Short. Come on now. One of the top five D-tackles in the game right now, full stop. And there are some really elite D-tackles in the game right now. So to be in the top five is, is a really big compliment. Joe McCoy, he's going to be putting some work for us this year. Don Tari Poe, a lot of fans don't really like him because of what he did last year, but keep it real. He wasn't playing in his natural position as a nose tackle in a 3-4 defense. He's going to be playing there this year, and I doubt we'll see very much of him when we go to a four-man front. I think Don Tari Poe, when he's in the game, will have a big impact on the defense. There's Kyle Love and Vernon Butler and F.A. Abata. Okay, now Kyle Love is a really good backup. He actually left and tested free agency, came back and got signed to us again. So it was a really good time for us because... Kyle Love put in some work last year. I would say he was actually the most consistent of any of our D linemen last year. And that's that's how I feel about it 100%. Uh, Vernon Butler, we all know about Vernon Butler. And F.A. Abada, in this article, it says that F.A. Abada and Brian Cox Jr. were battling out for the last spot on the 53 and Abada won out. Now look, that may be what they're saying, but there is literally no way that the Panthers cut F.A. Abada a guy from the UK who, if you remember last year in his one breakout game, how heavily we were marketing F.A. Abada and how heavily we were talking about the UK and his story and whatnot. This year is the very first year the Panthers are going over and having a London game. If you ever considered for a second that F.A. Abada was ever not guaranteed a spot on this 53-man roster. That one roster spot is worth all the marketing we'll be doing leading up into that game against the Bucks in London. And if you don't believe me, just remember what I said and pay attention to just how much we market this man F.A. Abada in the week leading up to that UK game. I believe in him. I think he'll have a pretty decent year. He'll have a good year this year. But if you ever doubt it for a second or ever even believed that there was a risk of him not making the roster, <laughs> That's impossible. Edge players, Mario Addison, Bruce Irvin, Brian Burns, Marquise Haynes, Christian Miller. There's not a single name on this list that's not to love. Mario Addison's proven himself. I think he had, what, eight sacks last year? He had back-to-back -back years of double-digit sacks, so we know what he can do. Bruce Irvin is a guy who came from the Falcons, from the Raiders. He's had a career that's been pretty impressive so far. I have no doubt he'll put in the work. Brian Burns, come on now, man. The, the Spider-Man... The Amazing Spider-Man, the Magnificent Spider-Man, the Spectacular Spider-Man into the Brian-verse. Come on now, brother. Marquise Haynes and Christian Miller, two young guys. Marquise Haynes was our fourth-round pick two years ago. He was fast but too small to be a defensive end, and he didn't really fit into the 4-3 kind of scheme we're running. But running this 3-4 this year, we will definitely see Marquise Haynes put in some work. And Christian Miller had a little bit of injury history, kind of some, some little issues in college, but I 100% believe that by the middle point of this season, we'll see Christian Miller consistently making plays for the team. Then going on to our inside linebackers, Luke, 48 U's, 12 K's, 117 E's, you know who Luke is, Shaq Thompson, JC, Jermaine Carter, Andre Smith, and Jordan Kunishek. I don't know if I'm saying his name wrong, but no one's corrected me yet, so I'm going to assume I'm actually saying it right. Jordan is a guy no D1 offers. I don't think any offers at all going to college. Walked on. No invites to the combine. Did not get drafted. And he made the 53-man roster here. People are calling him a mini Luke, a Luke Jr. Uh, hey, look, it could be something really special we're seeing here with Jordan. I really need to see how he looks this season. And we will definitely get a look at him. He might jump the depth chart. He might jump over Andre Smith. Maybe jump over Jermaine Carter. We'll see how that works out for us. Defensive backs, we have Eric Reed at strong safety, Trey Boston at free safety, James Bradbury, Dante Jackson as our corners. Then we have Colin Jones, the best man ever to put on a jersey. I don't mean a Panthers jersey. I don't mean an NFL jersey. I mean the best player to ever 
engage in any athletic activity in the history of mankind. If I see Colin Joe Slender in the comments, <laughs> you don't want to know. Like, you, you, you just don't do it. Just don't do it. Then we have Javion Elliott, a guy we just picked up, who will play the nickel role for us this year. Rashawn Gallen, who's going to be our big nickel. And Latrell Jameson, one of the new guys, who is a free safety slash corner. Then past that, we have our specialist, Joey Sly, our kicker. The most consistent part of our preseason for, for uh, by, a, by a long shot, honestly. Graham Gano is injured out for the year. Joey Sly is in. Mike Pilari, our punter, and JJ Jansen, our long snapper. That's the whole 53-man roster, man. What are your thoughts on... Elijah Holyfield being back. What are your thoughts on the roster? What are your thoughts on maybe guys who are going to be the most impressive and maybe be sleepers who put in some work this year? Let me know all that in the comments below. And you already know to do with that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win. 